spot straight player. Yeah, <laughs> so they're praying for rain, and all of a sudden Slayer came on the radio, and you're like, yep, yeah, oh, this sounds better. That dude is like literally falling asleep right now. Actually, he looks strikingly similar to the ramen guy from Naruto. Ho oh, ho, there's a trigger word. <laughs> nope. Well now, alright. The subtle of writing and dialogue is ever present in Suda51's work. Sure, why not? Why the hell not? Yeah, no, 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 let's do that. Well, that loading time didn't convey anything to me. Yes, he said it! So are we sure this was actually blood raining from the sky, or what? Why the hell isn't the town covered in blood from this? That would be my first question, actually. <laughs> Look at this, Jin, the one-man investigation squad. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell is Izumo Palace? Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah. What? A dining hall? <laughs> Wait, he actually told you where the hell he's going? Well, it's a good thing he just told you and not Fu, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, hi there. So anyway, that's why I need to head out to the Sizumo Palace for a bit. I thought you were, you weren't going to tell. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just glad that A, these two are on bro level enough to be able to share it with each other with these secrets, and B, Fu stepped out for five minutes long enough for Mugen to tell Jin about this stuff. I also love how he's like shimmying back and forth. I'm just like, wow, really? Go. Go where? Take a hint. By the way, Yuzumu Palace is, um, it's not really that bad of a level. It's actually, I'd almost say it's pleasant, except the trek inside is a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's not terrible, though. Style house, known as Izumo Palace, is no simple gigantic family-style restaurant. <laughs> An investigation concluded it is actually a secret base for operations performed by the red-haired, blue-eyed aristocrats. Redheads! Ooh! special rights in Ezo by the Matsuma. They secretly interacted with the people from the continent and took money for a special favor. By are we with this continent, are we talking about China or America? Probably America. These degenerate aristocrats have ensured that they are provided with a cuisine so disgusting you wouldn't even want to hear about it, much less eat it. Sounds delicious. The following is merely a rumor that is whispered in the castle town of Ezo. But the red haired, blue eyed aristocrats apparently see this land as their own personal hunting ground. Oh, okay. So, like, most Europeans. Alright. And it is for this reason that they came across the sea. The extent of their foul eating habits, as well as their foul deeds, can only be described as being like those of demons. Hmm. And 
this brings us to that rain of blood. It <laughs> oh, is my belief that the falling of that awful liquid from the sky was also the function of those horrific demons praying to the heavens. Wait, so this is implying that those that those what? And so I, Manzo the Saw, received my orders as a secret policeman. I Sadly, we'll never actually see Manzo on screen. As big of a missed opportunity as that is, I'm certain everyone here can probably agree. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that, um... Who are you? How dare you thwack me on the back of the head while I'm doing my best to provide a proper and well-balanced narration? <laughs> what did you say to me? They're here. It's the demons. Curse you. The redheads, no. Come any closer and I'll strike you down. Whoa, that weird vibrator you have? Please? Pretty please? <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not too sure where it's supposed to be taking that scene seriously or not. Isn't that... Oh. Is that little Lolita crying about something? Oh no. Excuse me. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, this guy. This man in German is Swedish. I'll treat you to the most wonderful food. Yeah, German. Food? Yummy food? <laughs> <laughs> the eyebrow slightly goes up. I'd be overjoyed to introduce you to some of the more delicious foods the continent has to offer. Zah, we have a good time, da. Had that Izumo Palace rest a stopper or whatever it's called? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And once you have eaten that <laughs> I love the generic ass hip hop beat and we have in the background right now. <sighs> Foo, why? Foo, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Foo? Seriously. Can, can we not? No. <sighs> Alright, sure. Well, yeah, no, that just happened. Burr, 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 yeah. Alright, anyway, so as long as I'm here, I might as well. I'm actually kind of glad. I thought it was just going to kind of stick me in the middle of the mission and just be like, hey, hey here, Bob, go to town. Have fun, why don't you? And that would be no bueno. Anyway, so, um, yeah, not yet. still not yet at the point of I'm going to need to start buying boosting items. Honestly, I probably won't buy boosting items. The mission 6 and 7, those are the only real times you need to worry about that shit. Uh, generally speaking, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm rolling, like, not even two hours into this, I'm on chapter 3. Actually, I like how it took me two hours to get to chapter three. Son of a bitch. But you know what I mean. Anyway, time to swap out weapons again. Um, yeah, those weapons definitely... Um, oh my god. How, uh, what was his name again? Hazono? Hazona? Something like that. Um, his weapons complete shit. Um, the attack power isn't good. The durability is so damn low. Um, also, I should explain. Technically, the default character's weapons have like an infinite durability rating, but they have an attack power of like one. So, for all intents and purposes, you can use those all the time, but it will take you forever to do anything, but, you know what I mean. Anyway, so next up, Unscrap Katana. This is actually a pretty solid starting weapon, I, I do say. Pretty solid shit. And Kotetsu, this actually does have pretty good stats. I remember just being like a 3 attack power and like 1 de um, 2 um, durability, I think. I'm not sure about that. I do know they're both really good weapons, though. I was grabbing Katana is a very good early game weapon. Kotetsu is definitely going to serve you well if you get it. And so on and so forth. Yeah. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Moving on. <laughs> I like how I'm literally doing this like every single goddamn time. Also, I also just noticed that if you put, um, depending on your setting for the main map, it'll actually stay there between missions. That's really cool. Really nice attention to detail. Yeah, move it. Changing up again. Backslot. I remember Backside 540 doing something. What is that song right there? Uh. God damn it. Well, tell me there. Ugh. Doesn't tell me. Shit. That's a good one. I'm busting north. And for the earth side, we got, um. I have not listened to that one, actually. Well, let's give it a shot. Why the hell not? Again, still using these opening 
levels as uh, just a testing ground more uh, more than anything else. Does it actually tell me what the hell you jumble song? Wait, jumble song? Uplifting single, highly recommended. Cool. Now, if only fucking did anything, I would very much enjoy it. But since that's not the case, or rather, it will not tell me that's the case, and you kind of can't really tell, but you know, at least it. Uh, at least the visual distinction you get is that it does actually change your um. Well, what the hell is it? Your combo list, but uh, the downside is that when you enter into um. You probably know this by now, but when you actually max out your tension gauge and you go, you get the ability to use hyper mode. Your gauge actually extends, but you will not be able to preview when selecting the song um, what the extension looks like. Um, that's really getting you more to like nitpicking than anything else, but I feel like that is a big, pretty big um, oversight in the grand scheme of things. It, it's just something that really would have made things a lot more convenient than anything else, really. But you know, personal things notwithstanding. Let's get a move on to Izumo Palace. We'll be here twice more after this. Twice. It's good. Uh, yes. At the very least, at least Izumu House usually isn't that long. Holy crap, going to places. This could be fantastic. Oh, this place looks great. Let's look at all that really badly textured floor. Demons or serpents. I'm game either way. Either way, it sounds hot as hell. Is that a snake in the background or just me? Oh, hey, dude. If these dudes are trying to be intimidating, they're not doing a very good job. Wow, that fade of black, though. That was completely pointless. Like, more so than usual stuff in this game. My god. So. Wow, this generic ass low time though. Huh. Kind of disappointing considering all the cool shit you get later on. Hmm. Oh my god, three hits. A grand total of three. I don't even get the shockwave at the end. Holy fuck. Well, it's a straight four, I suppose. That's not too. Is it just me? Or are these guys dropping more Kobans than usual? Uh, maybe I'm just imagining that. Also, some com some LPs will actually change your combo string, but that's really just not really like interesting. I guess it's the best way I can use to describe it. It's just not that interesting, really. Okay. Damn, I'm at six. No, I'm at five. Pretty close to five, though, or pretty close to six. Mike Tyson, you are everywhere. <coughs> Ugh. And now my snot's everywhere. Great transition, Bob. 10 out of 10. Anyway. Yeah, it's like 11.39. I managed... I'm this sharp with the transitions. Hell yeah. So, Izumo Palace. Oh, hater dudes. Remember why I said there's no shortage of baddies to be had? This is what I meant. Oh, hey, I actually got the extension, I think. Do I have tension? Yeah, tension gauge is, is maxed. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You only get the extension once your tension gauge is at maximum. Yeah, cool. I like how I can't even go into hyper mode right now. Not manually, anyway. Ooh, I can actually do that shit now. Hell yeah. I'm just carefully going down each one of these lists in order to get a good grasp of what it is. I'm sure there's someone out there, if you're interested in the full combo list of what each one individually does, I know I'm not. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Of course, I'll show the combo is. It doesn't even matter. Alright, next one. This is much better. Oh my gosh. This list is so expansive now. Hell yeah. Also, because... Did it just put me into... Huh. Anyway. I was gonna destroy this fool really fast. Yeah! Fuck! <laughs> That almost did it though. Man, that fucker exploded. Oh my god, I'm alright. I'm alright, 10 fucking Kobons. What is this shit? I'm liking it, hell yeah. Okay, th I'm. if I had to take a wager, I'd probably say each one of these toll gates is probably like taking 6 or 7. First guess. Don't, really don't need either, but alright. 
Or maybe I'm full of shit. <laughs> Whoops, that was my bad. But, um, you know, as, as long as I'm here, I can go exploring a little bit. Yeah, why the hell not? This is, this is only, like, one of the few areas where you can actually, like, go exploring not a whole lot, but just a little bit. No, enough to make it actually more interesting to go check out. You know, <laughs> I know I'm going to be here, like, three more times, but you know what, whatever. Kaboom. I'm sorry, it just, it just loses all meaning after a while. Did you something die? Oh, that's not very great. That's probably not very nice. I uh, guess that I'm going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> Dick. Let's do the loads. There we go. Kill nine. Okay. Bonus weapon. <laughs> I'm beating him up with silence. Wait, what the hell am I doing? Ooh, that's how he access that. Ugh. Just gotta apply the pressure. Ooh! Haha! <laughs> oh my god, this combo tree is so good. It doesn't really get you anything on, ed like, boosted modes, but you know what the hell ever. Oh yeah, that's right, now I remember this. I remember this string, now this is one that, um, where you go into it, Relic Stance doesn't really do anything. Oh my god, this is... Let's try the next weapon. <laughs> Unscribe Rattan is dying very quickly. I love the way that dude's diving animation goes. Come on. Nope. That's, uh... Eh, yeah, circle, why the hell not? Hmm. Let's try this. Aha! <laughs> that was pathetic. Um... My only mile at this point about a little variety or exchange of blows because that felt a little dry to me. It's probably just me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving on. That was boring. <laughs> at least this music's still bumping. It's actually pretty cool. It's quiet after the first like. But uh, yeah, whatever. There's nothing in this room. There's seriously nothing in here. I am disappointed. Huh? It's not like arms. <laughs> well, fuck that. Oh, we got it. Oh, it just takes you back to the main hall. That's cool. No, no, that's neat. That's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> of course, there's no real hint of uh, adventure we really had in this game to begin with, outside of pain and frustration with the last level. But yeah, I guess I'll take exploration while I can get it. If, except that also entails that you're not really gonna be accomplishing anything with exploring, because the most you get you get is like health regenerations and maybe some coins, and that's it. It just never really feels like the the gold you get in like bonus pots never really amounts to anything. I don't know. That's just me personally. Maybe, maybe some do, maybe some don't, I don't know. I have never really bothered with getting in-depth with this game. You'd wonder why. It, this game seems so in-depth and strategical. Strategical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jokes notwithstanding, I do not have the patience for this game, really. Oh, yeah, last one, cool. Last Koban, cool. Ten gates raised, cool. Getting to some back rooms now. Uh, do these doors? Nah, there's only one door at the end of the hall. Let's go check it out. Get some more combos in the process, I suppose. Why hell not? Oh, yeah, the back room. I think you just something back here, right? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> Is that a giant squid? Yeah, it's not a giant squid, but it's a huge ass squid, so it's almost there. Funny, that's most. Hey, yeah, there's a weapon restoration item. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything too particular in this room that's worth checking out. Not immediately though, but yeah, nothing behind there. Okay, moving, going back, rolling it back, Bob, rolling it back. <laughs> this is. I'm just so glad I'm able to run this, averagely fast. Ugh. <laughs> At least Jin's running animation is a little more dignified in this in this mode than it is on the overworld. Ugh, fuck that. <clears throat> Man, my throat is going at me so fast right now. I don't even know why. Back room. Okay, cool. Definitely not going to be going this in depth with uh, when I play with Mugen, but um, I just figured I'd just do this right now so you can see what's going on around here. Is there anything here? No. Running on the left? No. Huh? Only the right side is accessible to Jin. Huh? Interesting. Is there anything on the second floor? 
That can't possibly be it. Uh, I don't see any options over here. Aw, oh, man. That's an actual fan of Boo's Haunted Mansion from Mario 64. I'm disappointed with this level. Fuck. I was expecting some, like, in-depth, like, exploration here. Like, find cool shit, but nah, bro, not. But yeah, you literally see, um, the most you really get for exploring these places is just, like, health items, health pickups, and that's about it. Uh, you can't increase your stats. You can't, like, find anything really cool. This is not Met. This is not Metroid, people. This is just a standard beat em up mm. You know, personally speaking, I've never touched another Studio 51 game before. I mean, I played a demo for No More Heroes, A Desperate Struggle, but that's it. Also, this person is the thing. Ah, boy, here we go. I have so many questions. <laughs> now you're talking my language. I like how Samurai Shampoo just views Europeans like a bunch of assholes. By the way, there is actual context for this character. Um, it's downstairs in the basement, but unfortunately we will not be able to see that. We see that with Mugen. And yeah, you guys will see that much later on. How the hell do you find like a wolf that small that looks like a ferret? But I suppose that should be the least of my answers right now, right guys? Well, I could give you several things in this shot that bars me, but you know. Hmm. Well, got a little bit of Kyogre Ground thing going on. You seem awfully laid back about this. I, I guess Europe is just used to that kind of shit by now. Uh, but if blood is the life, then isn't that totally a good thing? I don't know. Again, far from my first question I would ask this person, but yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Isn't No Geo like a port or something or something or eh? I, I'm not too sure. I have grown tired of this conversation. It is time we got down to Really, because I burnt my eyes out a long time ago, so I'm I can keep going if you want to. As you wish. <laughs> okay, so this person is um the opponent here today. And that's great. However, funny enough, he is actually mildly challenging, just ever so slightly. Um, he's got solid forward movement. Um, his offense is very linear, straightforward. So therefore, you want to, you want to actually remember the fact that you have a guard button. I know. Yeah, God forbid, we actually have a guard button, right? What the? How the hell? Oh, he's got full super armor right now. <laughs> I'm just completely messing up right now. Nope. Oh yeah, he's also got blade beam attack apparently. I have no idea how he got that, but I want to use it with Jin. Damn it! Oh man. Okay, I should probably play a little more cautiously. Yeah, linear attack. Oh, okay. That was an animation. Oh, that's what hit me. Son of a bitch. No wonder. Go for it. I dare you. Yeah, you're not fooling me anyone with that. I know you gotta attack up your sleep. Oops. <laughs> As I go into stance. However, to be fair, it's like nigh impossible to cancel any animations of this game in the garden. No, really. This is not Devil May Cry, folks. Um. What? 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I seem to have killed you. <laughs> I think the game died a little bit. I don't think that sword should be there in his gut, but... Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I killed this man, but he's still alive, God damn it! Apparently, um, the rain of blood also makes you nigh immortal. Well, Jesus, this is just become... That, that combined with what I was just looking at, this just become a very, very darkly written game, and I love it. Okay, can we just keep doing that? Probably not. Is there some immortality back shit we're talking about here? Antonio, who? Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> this is the last time we're really gonna bring this up for a good while, too. Ugh. Am I the only one who gives a shit about the Samurai Shampoo story anymore? Because I think I'm the only one. God damn it. There can be only one? Question mark? Oh, hey, Mugen. He decided to join the party, huh? He's also seen some, shit, some human sacrifice shit downstairs to make this. Yeah. This thing is not natural. It's you. Yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh, Steve Bloom, you sound like you have a cold today. Damn straight. <laughs> right here. You're still alive. I'm just as amazed. What? Couldn't possibly have ate. What happened to that redhead fuck from earlier? It can't possibly be pretty. Compared to what we just saw. Yep, I wanna die. I can't eat another bite. I wanna kill myself. That I would not feel too bad about. She wolfed down all that by herself. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, what what are we about to imply here? I'm curious. Apparently they cut all the fat out of her, huh? <laughs> We're implying a lot of on screen off screen shit right now. That bad? I've been had. It's a fake. <laughs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not really uh, sure that applies, but all right. Well, huh? Two hours, eleven minutes. That's not terrible, actually. Huh? How about that shit? So, well, I guess that's gonna do for this segment of Let's Play Samurai Shampoo Sidetracked. I want to get sidetracked myself and uh, not really get in back into this game for a while, but Rogue Shampoo. What was that? Yeah, because I want what? Because I want to take some alternate pathways. Fuck you, man. <laughs> All right. So, guess next time on Let's Play Samurai Shampoo Sidetracked. Um, let's see what the game decides not to die on me, because <laughs> apparently it was having some problems earlier with um the thing. Um, am I might obviously still have the question. So, till next time, peace. Yes, one save. This is gonna be so weird. <laughs>